Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to see my monthly empties or my empties, I guess this has been from the past couple of months, and a miracle cure. And uh, the miracle cure is something interesting. I realized that two out of three of my empties were supplements and I realized that if I just added one more, I could show you something that has totally revolutionized my life in terms of my digestive system. And I don't want to give you too much information, but I had problems with uh, diarrhea. <laughs> I guess I just gave you too much information. And I struggled with that for years and my mother-in-law had it. And I just thought, well, maybe when you get older as a woman, that part of you just wears out and you have to deal with it, which is totally silly. I have realized that when you have a medical problem, you do need to go to a doctor. And I did that. I went to a GI person and he said, before trying anything more advanced, you really need more fiber in your diet. And so he told me how to do that. And the first thing you do is in the morning, you take two teaspoons. Whoa, is that in the morning, you take two teaspoons of this Metamucil in water. And I do that. And here is my Metamucil in water. Oh my, it gets really thick if you let it sit there for a little while which I like to do because I feel like somehow that helps. And basically what you do is you drink this first thing in the morning and I take it with my supplements. And I won't go through and tell you what each one of those are, but let me go ahead and take them. Oh, for a mouthful. Okay, I just downed the Metamucil with my supplements. Now included in those supplements was Fibercon, which is the other part of the Metamucil kind of a prescription that it was given by the GI doctor. And this Fibercon gives you quite a bit of fiber and you could either take one or two a day. This really does help, absolutely love this. Together these two things were pretty much a cure for the number two situation for me. Another empty that I have in terms of my supplements, and again, it is one of the supplements that I took this morning. This is the Nature's Bounty Probiotic 100 Million Organisms. I also think that in terms of your GI health, a probiotic is very important. In the midst of those supplements that I just took, I have some empties. The first is vitamin D3, and I actually had two different bottles of this. This I bought at the place that used to compound my hormones, and this was very expensive. And this is Spring Valley brand, and now I'm just buying the Spring Valley brand. I figured this was not necessarily worth it, but it is important to have your D3 if you're not in the sun very much, which I am not, so D3 is important. Now this next empty, I am kind of mad at myself for. This is the Halo Beauty Booster Vitamins, and remember Tati was selling these. I'm sure she still is. I took two bottles of this, and I never noticed any difference, and I was kind of mad at myself because I spent a lot of money, and, you know, it's easy for all of us to see something like that as seen on TV or as seen on Tati, not to say I don't love Tati, but this was supposed to make a good difference in how you look, and to me, it did not do it. Now, if you think the Halo Vitamins made a difference for you, beauty-wise or health-wise, I hope you'll share that information in the comment section below. Now, my next empty is also kind of a supplement that I take every morning. This is the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides, and I really feel like this has helped make a difference to my skin and hopefully my hair. And I have probably gone through maybe eight or 10 of these. In fact, I purchased a couple of the huge ones because that does save you money, and I'll link them below. But basically, this is just a little white collagen powder, and it comes with a little scoop. And what you do is you take a scoop of this, and I mix it in my coffee in the morning, and it really doesn't taste like anything, which I really appreciate because I believe that this is bone which is kind of a gross thing when you think about it, but I actually have it in my coffee this morning as most mornings. And you really can't taste anything different. And I will say that I ran out of this recently and my husband takes it too and he's like, where's the collagen? I really think it was helping. Okay, enough of the supplements. Now I'm into my skincare empties and I've got some really great things to show you. The first is this two-in-one daily facial cloths. Absolutely love this. I've been using these for maybe six months now. These are just little white cloths that you unfold, you put a little water on them and you scruffle them all over your face. Truly love these. Very, very convenient way to cleanse your skin. And then I really also like these Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. Basically, after I use the cloth to do a first washing on my face, and also this is handy in my makeup room. I also have them here in my makeup room in addition to the sink where I do my washing of my face because this is great to just remove the last little bit of mascara that you have before you make up. Absolutely love these cleansing towelettes. And normally I follow this up with my Clinique Number no. 4 toner, which totally removes everything from my face. 
And my next skincare empties are actually my AM and PM moisturizers. This is the AM. It has the little yellow sun on it. This one includes an SPF, and this one is the PM moisturizer. These are the CeraVe AM and PM Facial Moisturizing Lotions. I really like these. They have niacinamide to brighten your skin, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid, which is a great humectant or moisturizer for your skin. I absolutely love these, and I think they've really been helping my skin look very good. Now, my next two empties are sunblocks, and actually, I have this sunblock on my face right now, and if you can't tell, it has a white cast to it. And it's so funny because this morning when I was going through my empties bag, and I have a bag on the back of my bathroom door where I just put anything that is an empty, and as I'm going through the empties, I dump them all out on the floor, and as I'm going through them, I said, oh my gosh, why did I put this in the empties? It's almost full. And so then I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and use this this morning. Well, after using it, I totally realized why I put it in my empties bag, and really, I can tell that my face has a very white cast to it. I do not like this stuff at all, and a lot of YouTubers swear by this. It does have an SPF of 50, and it does have zinc, so it's a chemical sunblock, which would be very good with Retin-A, and it basically has lied here. It says invisible zinc. Well, it is not invisible. It is white as can be on your skin, it says lightweight and oil-free. Well, I don't know what they're talking about because this thing felt super oily, super heavy, absolutely a horrible look, unless you want to be a 16-year-old lifeguard and have your zinc very visible. But it does say with ceramides and niacinamide, so I think the CeraVe people are trying to pawn this off as some kind of a great skincare sunblock. To me, this is absolutely awful, and it is going to go into the trash. And this is another sunblock empty that I have, and I really need to get this reordered again because I truly love this. I've just been out of it, and I've been using a more expensive sunscreen, which, you know, I like this better, and I think it does just the same thing. This is the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy Sunblock. It says it has botanical ingredients and an SPF of 50. This goes on absolutely beautifully. It has a little bit of a tan look when you put it on and it goes on kind of like a very thin BB cream, something like that. It gives you just a little bit of color. Absolutely love this sunblock and sorry I wasn't able to use it this morning. Okay, my next empties are fragrance empties. And the first is the Clinique Happy. And I used to wear this for years, absolutely loved it. It's a citrus-based fragrance, which gives you that happy feel. Citrus is known to do that, to kind of pump up your mood. And I really do like light florals. This is a wonderful one. However, this one had gotten old and it smelled kind of old lady in the bottle. It's hard to explain what that smell is, but it just smelled old, like it had been sticking around too long. And the reason it smells old is because I've replaced it with this. And I absolutely love this. This is the new one I just purchased of the Joe Malone Orange Blossom. This is a heavenly scent. I can't resist putting more on. Oh my. It is absolutely beautiful. If you like florals, light florals, you would absolutely love this. And the reason it's in my empties is I ran out of my first bottle. This is a one ounce. This is a three ounce. And unfortunately, I'm using this one pretty fast. And this is expensive. This is like 140 and I think this one is 65, something like that. But to me, to have a scent that smells this wonderful that so many people comment on, this is worth it. Now, my next two empties are foundation empties. The first is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin in Nude, and I absolutely love this, and it is my go-to favorite. If I don't want to take any extra care in putting on a foundation and I want it to look wonderful and natural, this is a medium foundation, but it is buildable to full. I always get it in the color nude. This is probably my fourth or fifth bottle of this, and this one is all gone. And please don't look at my skin today because it does have that terrible white pallor underneath the foundation, which is from that awful CeraVe sunblock. Please don't get that. But if you're looking for a great drugstore foundation that just will even out your skin and make it look flawless, this is a great one. This is another foundation that I've absolutely been loving this summer because it is for those days when it's hot and sweaty outside and you want lighter coverage. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. It has an SPF of plus 50, which I really love. And I get it in the color medium here. In the winter, I use light. In the summer, I use medium because I do turn more tannish orange in the summer, even though I really try to avoid the sun. Each of these foundations is absolutely wonderful. I will be repurchasing this one, and I have already repurchased this one. Absolutely wonderful foundations.
Now my next empty is a concealer and this is the Derma Blend Super Concealer. I don't think it's called that, but it is a very high intensity concealer and I always get it in the color light. I purchased medium and that was just too dark, but there it is. It's pretty much gone and I've already repurchased this. This is wonderful if you have any facial scars or actually any scars all over your whole body. I've got kind of a dark patch on my legs and I use the medium color to camouflage that darkness on my leg and I use the light color to camouflage this little incision here. Absolutely love this and if you have scars to cover on your face or anywhere on your body, I don't think you can go wrong with Derma Blend. My next empty is an eyeshadow primer and you'd have to be under a rock to have not seen this on other YouTubers channels. Everyone uses this and loves this. It's under $10 and it lasts a long, long time, many months. This is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. It is a dupe to me for the Urban Decay Eyelid Primer, but this one is a lot less expensive. Just like the Urban Decay, this one goes on with a little bit of a tan color, but it very quickly dries. It's not tacky on your skin. I really like to put a little loose powder over this because then I think the shadow glides on better. This eyeshadow primer really helps your eyeshadow colors blend more true on your eye. The colors look better and they last all day. Now with my next empty, I actually have two of them because I just throw my empties in this big bag and I guess I just did not tell you about this empty during my summer empties, but I always buy this mascara and I truly love it. It is my all time favorite. This is the Stila Huge Lash Mascara. Absolutely love this one. Here I'll show you one of them. It's all junky now, but it has a wonderful brush which is very, very thick and it kind of goes in and for some reason that makes a difference. And this mascara separates lashes nicely, but it gives them a long, thick look. Absolutely love this mascara. And unfortunately, I have not been using it much lately because I've been experimenting with other mascaras, including the blue mascara that I have on my eyes right now. And you can look in the video below if you'd like to see what that one is. This one's a Maybelline mascara and I really used it just because I've been liking the blue mascaras lately. But in terms of a great all round black mascara with just a little bit of drama, this Stila is fantastic. And I've also been using the Tarte Lights Camera Action. And to me, this is fairly equal with the Stila mascara. Really does about the same thing. I think in mascaras, each of us are in either one of two camps, either the natural mascara where things just look a little longer, a little more plumped up, or the high drama mascaras and both the Stila and the Tarte give you that glamorous look of more lashes, more intense lashes, fuller, darker lashes. Absolutely love the Stila and the Tarte. Now this next product gives me the same feel as having purchased those Tati Halo vitamins. And that is that I saw this on some advertisement or another YouTube video, can't remember, and I thought I just have to have this. Well, the reality was I didn't have to have this and I think I wasted $30 on this. This is the DDK Mascara Lashes and they call it Eyelash Extensions Mascara and it comes in two parts, a primer and a mascara. And you would think from all the hype this would have been wonderful, but to me this was a fairly lousy mascara. It didn't look good even when I first put it on. It flaked all throughout the day. Absolutely terrible mascara. So at least for me, this one was a fail. Okay, the next empty was a brow product and I've probably purchased four or five of these now. This is the Rapid Brow and basically what you do, it's very much like a lash extension product, but it is a product for your brows and it just goes on like water and you just put it on your brows twice a day and then over about eight weeks, it does thicken them up and in my case, it has given me some tails. I will say that for maybe the first three vials I used of this, I was so excited because they kept growing and growing and my tails really did come in. Now I think I'm in more of a maintenance phase because I'm not really noticing particularly any new growth, but it is protecting the growth that I have gained, so I really still like this product. Now my next empty I absolutely love, and this is the liner that I have on my eyes right now, and it is a purple liner called Rain, and there it is. It is by Pure and it is the on point eyeliner in the color Rain. And I don't know why they would call a purple color Rain. It's kind of interesting though. This is the second Pure on point eyeliner I have purchased. Actually, I got the first one in PR, but I liked it so much that I went out and repurchased this one. In fact, when I looked through my empties, I, I had two of these and I was so happy to realize that for some reason I had put my new one in there too because I was really missing this and I'm so excited to start using this again. 
and I did use it this morning. I'm really finding that colored eyeliners and mascara really just pump up your eye color no matter what your eye color is. And what I'm liking about this liner, I'll show you in the new one that I purchased, is that it is called the On Point Eyeliner. And so basically what that means is every time you screw off the little top, it is giving you a brand new point on that eyeliner. Absolutely beautiful, perfect point. So this goes on beautifully. It creates as thick a line as you want from very thin in the middle to very thick on the outside. This eyeliner lasts all day. It doesn't fade, it doesn't flake. These pure liners are absolutely some of my favorites. Now my next empty is a lipstick, and this is absolutely one of my favorite colors. If you want a darker color, I have it on right now. This is the Flower Beauty Matte Lipstick in the color LS3 Tuberose, and it is empty, and I have since repurchased it. It's kind of a pinky, rosy color. Absolutely love that, especially for fall when we're all starting to get into darker colors. I have this lipstick on, but I have to admit, since I've been wearing so many nudes all summer, when I put it on just in and of itself, it looks a little dark to me, maybe a little harsh. So I've covered it in this gloss. And this is the Catrice Generation Plump and Shine Lip Gloss in the color Crystal Rock. This is not an empty, but I did want to show it to you because it's what I use to really make this lipstick look even better. Absolutely love this Flower Beauty lipstick. It goes on very creamy on your lips. It feels kind of moisturizing and it lasts a good long time. Now my last products are hair products and you've seen this one many times in my empties because I have been using and loving this for about the past year. I got it at Sally's Beauty and in terms of Sally's Beauty, I am finding they really have some great kind of undersung products and this is one of them and they have a whole line of these macadamia products and I've never tried the shampoo and conditioner but I bet they're wonderful too. I've been using this macadamia natural oil deep repair mask I try to use it weekly, but realistically, it's probably every two weeks. It is just a little very emollient mask. As you can see, it is empty there, and I have a new one in my shower. And since I don't think I use the deep repair mask enough in terms of leaving it on for 20 minutes or an hour, I keep this in my shower. And most of the time when I'm just putting my shampoo and conditioner on my hair, I'll put a little bit of this in the conditioner because I really think that this adds a great deal of moisture to your hair. If you've got kind of fried blondish hair like I do, I think you would absolutely love this macadamia deep repair mask. And another two empties, which I found when I was going through my bag, are the Mark Anthony products. This is Mark Anthony Instantly Thick Volume Shampoo. It does not have sulfates or parabens, anything like that. And this is the conditioner. And quite honestly, I use these a couple rounds each and absolutely love them. And then I got into using the Kenra Volume Shampoo and Conditioner and kind of forgot about these. But seeing these again this morning and having used the Kenra for about a month, I think I'm going to be repurchasing both of these because they kept my hair in good condition, which is unusual for thickening shampoos as they tend to be drying. But also they did give me wonderful, wonderful volume. The volume that I got from these Mark Anthony products was really at least equal to the Kenra products and probably maybe even a little bit better. So I will be repurchasing these. And certainly if you'd like to save money over those Kenra thickening products, these Mark Anthony ones are a great choice. Now I'm very excited to be telling you about this last hair product as it's been in that bag on the back of my door weighing it down for quite some time. This is the Remington 2 inch flat iron. I believe it's a 2 inch. Maybe it's 1.5 inch. I'll link it below. Absolutely love the Remington flat irons and I just purchased another purple one. Not exactly the same type. The style of it looks a little different but it is purple and it is from Remington and I've been using the new version for the last month or so. Truly love this flat iron. I have a Chi flat iron which was over $100. I have a Croc flat iron which again was over $100. This one I think was $35 something like that. Truly love this one. It flattens out my hair, gets rid of that curl, and gets rid of that frizz. And really, when using this Remington flat iron, even on second or third day hair, I wake up and my style still looks pretty good. Well, that was a look at my fall empties. I had a lot of products to share with you this time. And I love empties videos because in those videos, you see the products that the YouTubers are actually using up. And with makeup, it's really hard to get to pan on anything because we have so much makeup, but at least you're seeing the skin and hair care products and a few of the makeup products that I've gone through. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all of the products, tools, and tricks that keep us looking best at 50 plus, then I hope you'll subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. 
And I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I've been reading from the Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Okay, let's see what positive thought we can think about for today. Ooh, I show up for myself and the world. I show up for myself and the world. Oh, friends, I absolutely love this card, and this is a great reminder to us all. Just for today, as we go through our day, let's realize the importance of showing up. Sometimes it's so easy to think, oh, let's just get through this day, let's get to the weekend, and today is a Tuesday morning at about 7 o'clock in the morning, and I'm heading off to work. But just for today, friends, let's realize the importance of this one day. Let's live in this day. Let's live in this hour. Let's live in each moment. And in each moment of the day, let's try to show up for ourselves and the world. Because when we truly show up for ourselves and are present in our lives, we can have a better day, a better week, a better month, and a fabulous second half. Take care, and I'll see you in my next video.